because I do like this mic. So let's give it a little test and see. Okay, first Christmas present goes away. Second one coming out. Yeah, I opened that envelope up to go ahead and cut this open. Uh, and this is the Movo VXR10 shotgun mic. So let's see what we got here. Got some paperwork in the box. Have what appears to be two mounts for it. So that's good. They look like the same mount. We have two cords for it. One, both of them. Nope, one has three attachment, three lines, and the other one has two. It's TTRC or something like that. We've got a actually a pretty nice little simulated leather case. And of course, what everybody wants is a dead cat. We got a dead cat on here too. And I hope the microphone is inside of that. Yeah, it is. Okay. I was gonna say they forgot something the microphone. So that's what we got. We need to try this stuff out. Yeah, it'd be very interesting to see how this audio comes out. Uh, this is external mic pointed backwards. No wind protection. No wind sock. And we're just seeing how well you can hear me versus and damn the crowd. We're all come down here a couple of, two or three times. Pretty loud on the ground. Like I said, I definitely do not like the fact that it covers the screen. But I can see it if I need to. Just bent down a little bit, but maybe we would have to if we end up liking the quality of the audio, maybe we will have to, and we're gonna go ahead and kick it up to about the same thing, about 20 miles an hour, get some good wind, good gravel noise. Maybe we'll have to mount that mic a little differently. Mount it directly to the handlebar, a little bit more pointed towards me. After hearing that popping noise, I decided before I went any further, I had to run a few more tests. And it got worse and worse and worse. This is what we ended up with right here after a few more tests. Maybe it's just not picking up my voice. I contacted their phone number on customer support. And I got to tell you, they called me right back within a couple of hours. Spoke to a very nice young lady there. And she was uh, trying to be as helpful as she could, said she wasn't sure. I said, look, it might be a bad cord, a bad mic, or it just might be a poor application. You tell me and I'll purchase one that's gonna be a good application if that's it, or we just need to get a new mic or a new uh, cord in here. Well, she told me she was speaking via text to her management team to see what they could do, and she would call me back within five minutes. Well, I gotta tell you now, she was so polite and everything, I really figured, okay, we'll get this thing settled today. And that was about a week ago, and I haven't heard boo out of them since. Now, this is possibly a very good mic that just has a, a loose wire in there somewhere, or maybe it's just this little cheap cord that's got a loose wire in it somewhere, and this could have been resolved very easily. Or maybe it's a poor application, and if they would have told me, well, I would have used their business to purchase another one. Quite frankly, at that point, I would have bought a $200 system if I had got it up and running, if they had some good customer service. But their customer service, completely unprofessional. 
So this mic has to go back, and unfortunately, I am not going to go back to the same manufacturer for another one just because of their customer service. Now I'm going to jump in right here and uh, do a little bit of a voiceover because I did post a review that basically tells you exactly what I told you right here on Amazon. And you know, two days later, I heard from the business. Uh, and the guy was very apologetic. And what they did was they ended up sending me, a, sending me a new microphone. And this one does work. And it works as it should be intended. I don't know that the application with that great big dead cat attached to the bike is going to be that good. But I can tell you, I am going to keep it. And it does work well in several different situations. So there was something wrong with either the mic or the cord on that other one. I will also say that they did make up a lot of the uh, customer service issues. While I will not uh, uh, buy into many excuses from a business person, being a business person myself, I can appreciate when they come back and try and fix a mistake that they made. And they really did that. So I got to give them some credit for that. So that was kind of resolved, but it still leaves us with an issue of trying to find the best audio system to use with vlog and these bike rides. And hey, follow along on this journey with me. Best way to do that is hit that subscribe button and hit that like. And tell me down in the comments what you guys are using for your audio when you're out here doing things. I'd be real interested in that. And that's going to wrap it up for this one, guys. So until the next time, stay safe, God bless, and keep them wheels rolling. Once again, we're out.